Okay, this is N2LEM with another update. Let me lower the D-Star in the background. This is the Kenwood TKR820 UHF 25 watt repeater. We just pulled it out and we reconfigured it uh, for D-Star using a DVR PTR version 1 board. And uh, right next to it is a Raspberry Pi Model 2. It's a bench uh, repeater right now. It's connected to um, reflector 001 Charlie. And as you can see on the LEDs, it's keyed up right now. It's, uh, it's being tested in, uh, right now into a uh, dummy load. Come over here to the screen. I'll show you the actual image. Let me lower this. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to VNC viewer right into it. Click VNC. And we're going to bring it up. The image that I'm using is the Maryland D-Star image. Hold on one second. Let me put in the pass correct password. Okay. So when the screen comes up, this is actually the Maryland D-Star voice and data D-Star image that we're using. I like this image a lot. Uh, with the DVR PTR, it works flawlessly. It worked great with the um, with the MM uh, the uh, the DVR PTR with the uh, Motorola MTR2000, and now with the Kenwood TKR820. Uh, this particular image, why I like it, is because it's a GUI interface on the Raspberry Pi. The image is basically ready once you download and you burn the image onto a SD card. We're using a 16-bit SD card right now in the Pi 2. I believe the uh, image will hold on an 8 gigabyte card. But as you could see, uh, you can come up here and you could um, come in and just click quickly click the logs. This is actually the D-Star repeater log. You can come in. Everything runs as a system service. If you want to see the IRC DDB gateway log, you just click it one time, it comes right up. Um, it also has um, on-demand linking. Uh, it has scheduled automatic links if you want to set up uh, automatic connectivity to reflectors for nets and stuff. It has t uh, hourly time announcements, and it just plays great. It's a great image. The, uh, once you install the image onto the SD card, you boot up, and then it, you could literally um, begin the configuration for D-Star Repeater, and then configuring the, uh, the information for IRC DDB Gateway. And once you're done, you're, once you configure it and you get it all set up, uh, you're up and running. Uh, my future plans are to interface this repeater once again. The actual uh, Motorola TKR820 to a MMDVM ZUM board to see how well it will play with multi-mode. And okay, right, um, right, yeah, that. with that, I, uh, I uh, hopefully it'll play pretty well. Now like, this particular... Yeah software does a great job uh, with the IRC DDB remote which basically you bring it right up and as you can see right on the top we are connected to reflector 001 Charlie you want to disconnect you just press the, the, the disconnect right here and you'll see it'll disconnect and if you want to connect right back up to reflector you see I have 001 Charlie in the favorites you just basically connect, and, and we're connected right back up. This is N2LEN saying best 7-3.